well, almost the end of November and it's a nice clear day. And you can't believe the kind of wind and sun we're still getting here. Not lasting for too long, but very productive. Not a lot of heavy gusts, but um, constantly steady. Coming out of the north, mainly the northwest at this time of the year, as you can see, everything is pointed in that same direction, yeah, good clear blue sky, good for solar too, and believe it or not, Solar is being utilized heavily too. Got four panels right here. And I when I made a check on the current it's producing twenty-eight amps from these four panels right here. And they just temp. Hope to get some more. Wind is, it's not very windy today, see? It's slowing down. Yeah. And the sun has changed direction a great deal. Now it's more in the south now. It sets early in the afternoon, so we don't have this long sunshine like May, June, July. Sun disappear very quickly. And it's not that steaming hot either. Yeah. Look at this. 60 cell panels. 24 volts. And they are doing a wonderful job. Now, I'm seeing half of this panel, 21.9 amps. They are connected to this branch cable here. They are connected in parallel. You have a branch cable here, all the positive to one, all the negative to one, and then you send them over into a ten, number 10 wire right here over to a grid tie inverter right in the box. And that grid tie inverter should be humming away inside here. from DC to AC and that's what it's doing yeah right in the heart of the sun at this time as you can see there's no shade there's no shade on the panel, so that's what we want. As soon as there's a little shade on the panel, believe it or not, it will drop. Power will fall. You see that. See? It's going up. Four 
panel, 26 amps. Shade, no shade, and that's what you want. And we have this still kicking, still kicking away. So that is the latest and some more, more production of renewable energy, wind and solar. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go now and I'll keep you posted.